Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 1 and 2 class. Today we're going to continue on our equations journey, and in specific, we're going to learn about two-step equations. So the good news is, folks, is that the goal of any equation is always the same, and that's to isolate the variable, to get the variable all by itself. So again, repeat, you want to solve for x over 1. You're trying to solve for x as a positive and in the numerator. Important note, whatever operation is performed on one side of the equation must also be performed on the other side of the equation. If you want more details on this, please go back and watch my single step equations video and I go more into detail into that. So now the steps for two-step equations. Well, it's two steps. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to undo any addition and or subtraction first. So if anything is being added to the x or subtracted from the x, you're going to undo or cancel out that operation first. And then second, you're going to undo multiplication and or division second, okay? So if something is being multiplied to the x, you divide to get rid of that multiplication. If something is being divided to the x, then you're going to multiply that in order to get rid of the division. So again, two-step equations, undo addition and subtraction first, then undo multiplication and or division second. So let's get right to it because that's it. That's literally the lesson. So let's apply it now. I have 3n minus 4 equals 11. So the 4 is being subtracted from the n, so I'm going to undo addition and subtraction by adding 4 to both sides. I'm left with 3n equals 15. The relationship between 3 and n is multiplication. I'm going to get rid of multiplication or undo multiplication by dividing 3 to both sides. So n equals 5. It's that simple my friends. Number two, I've got y over 5 plus 2 equals negative 8, so I'm going to get rid of this positive 2, okay? And I'm going to get rid of that positive 2 by performing the opposite operation, so I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides. That's leaving me with y over 5 equals negative 10. Now, I have this 5 in the denominator, okay? That's y divided by 5. So the relationship between y and 5 is division. How do I undo division? By multiplying. So I'm going to literally multiply 5 over 1 to both sides. Now, why 5 over 1? Because remember, there's an invisible 1 here. Okay? There's an invisible 1 there. So i gotta, I got to multiply 5 to the numerator. I'm multiplying 5 to both both sides. So these 5's cancel. Negative five, uh, 10 times 5 is negative uh, 50. So y equals negative 50. And remember, you can always check this. Negative 50 divided by 5 is negative 10 plus 2 is negative 8. Number 3. I've got negative 14 equals negative 5 plus 3c. So I'm going to first undo addition and or subtraction. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Negative 14 plus 5 is negative 9, which equals 3c. The relationship between 3 and c is multiplication. I'm going to undo multiplication by dividing 3 to both sides. c will equal negative 3. Okay. Little fraction one here. Okay. There's going to be a much easier way to work with fractions a much easier way. I'm going to show you a, a technique for that in multi-step equations, but in a pinch, let me show you the old-fashioned way. It's just like any other two-step equation. The one-third is being subtracted from x, so I'm going to add one-third to both sides, leaving me with two-fifths x equals, well, the common denominator between 10 and, and 3 is 30, so this goes to 30, goes to 9, this goes to 30, this goes to 10. So 2 fifths x equals 19 thirtieths. 
Remember now we're left with a one-step equation. Two-fifths is being multiplied to x. I'm going to divide two-fifths to both sides, but if you remember from our single-step equation video, when I'm dividing by a fraction to make my life easier, I'm going to literally multiply by the reciprocal. Remember, this only works either at the last step of a two-step equation or if it's just a single-step equation. And then now here I'm going to reduce 5 goes into 5 one time, 5 goes into 30 six times. So I've got 19 twelfths, which equals 1 and 7 twelfths. Okay. Next, I've got y minus 4 over 2 equals 10. Okay. This 2 could be distributed to the y and to the negative 4, giving you y over 2 minus 4 over 2. But that's just too much work, in my opinion. So why don't we make our lives easier, and let's just realize that this 2 is being divided to the y, okay? Now, you may say, wait, 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 wait hold on, Moro. You said you have to get rid of addition and subtraction first, and we still do. So you're going to say to yourself, why aren't you getting rid of this negative 4 then? That's not really a negative 4, okay? If I were to distribute this 2 once again, I'm going to get y over 2 minus 2 equals 10. Then I can go ahead and add the 2. But again, that could be a little bit too tedious. So what I like to do is totally legal. Let's go ahead and get rid of that 2 in the denominator by multiplying by 2 to both sides. Now I have y minus 4 equals 20. Now I add 4 to both sides. And now I get y equals 24. Okay? And, of course, check it. Make sure I'm right, but I am. Next, I got x plus 3 over 5 equals negative 1. Again, when I have a, a 5 in the denominator here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that by multiplying 5 to both sides. So I've got x plus 3 equals negative 5. I subtract 3 to both sides, and x equals negative 8. Number 7. I've got a denominator here again. Oh, sorry about that. I've got a denominator here again of 7. So I'm going to multiply 7 over 1. Sorry. 7 over 1 to both sides. So that's going to leave me with negative 14 equals d minus 7. I'm going to add 7 to both sides. I have negative 7 equals D. I got negative 1 equals 4 plus 5 eighths X. Okay, I'm going to subtract 4 to both sides. And it's going to be negative 5 equals 5 eighths X. Some people may say, whoa, 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 why can't you multiply everything by 8 right off the bat? You can in this case, but that's going to get you to an uglier problem. So you always want to get rid of the division when it's in this form right here. When it's like, uh, you know, x plus 3 over 5 equals 9. Then you want to multiply by that 5. But when they're separated, like it is in example 8 here, go ahead and undo addition subtraction first. Now i got to get rid of the multiplication. So i got to divide by a fraction. So that means I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 8 fifths. So that goes bye-bye, that goes bye-bye, x equals negative 8. And there you have it for two-step equations. Now, we also have to learn about multi-step equations. It's two-step equations, but with a few more steps, hence multi-step equations. The good news, the goal has not changed. Isolate the variable, get that variable all by itself. That means you want to solve for x over 1. Please remember the important note again. And that important note is whatever operation is performed on one side of the equation must also be done on the other side of the equation. So whatever you do to one side must be done to the other. Now the procedures for multi-step equations are a little bit longer. So please pay attention, please focus. Number one, complete any distributive properties first. So whenever you see that there is a distributive property there, go ahead and distribute that value. 
basically what's happening is when you have a distributive property, those values inside of the parentheses are kind of locked in there. And the only way to unlock them or release them from the parentheses is by distributing. Number two, combine like terms on both sides of the equation. So you're going to have a left side and a right side. Look at both of those sides. Combine like terms in each respective side. Number four, once you've combined like terms on both sides, move all of the variables to one side of the equation. At this point, you've created a two-step equation. So now you're going to undo addition and subtraction. And then last but not least, you will undo multiplication and or division. Okay? So these steps are really, really important. Let's go through them. I got plenty of examples for us. Number one. I got negative 36 equals negative 8x minus 2x minus 6. Okay, I don't have any distributive property to worry about, so let's move on. Number two, it says bring all the x's to one side, or variables. All the variables are here on this one side. Now it says combine like terms on each side. So I have negative 36 here equals negative, 8 minus, negative 8x minus 2x is negative 10x minus 6. Now I have a two-step equation. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And then I'm going to cancel multiplication with division. Divide negative 10 to both sides. And x equals 3. Number 2. I got seven to 4 times 7 minus 5w plus 35w equals negative 2. Okay, I've got a distribution here. I've got a distributive property. So I must distribute this first as first step. So I've got 28 minus 20w plus 35w equals negative 2. Okay, I'm going to combine like terms on both, um, on both sides. So I've got 28, uh, negative 20w plus 35w is 15w equals negative 2. Now I've got a two-step equation. Subtract 28 to both sides, and 15w equals negative 30. Cancel out multiplication with division, divide by 15, and w equals negative 2. Number 3, 5 times x minus 2 equals negative 25. Distribute. So distribute that 5 over. So I've got 5x minus 10 equals negative 25. I can't simplify anything. On, I, I can't add any like terms on both sides. All the x's are together on one side. So now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. And 5x equals negative 15. Now I'm going to undo multiplication with division. So I divide by 5. And x equals negative 3. Give me one second, please. Okay, so now we have 8 equals 3 minus 2n plus 5. Okay, I don't have any distributive property to worry about, but I can combine like terms on both sides. This here is 8, and that equals 3 plus 5, which is 8 minus 2n. Now I have a two-step equation. The variables are all on one side, and I'm ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to undo addition with subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 8 to both sides. I've got 0 equals negative 2n, divide by negative 2, n equals 0. All right, awesome. Now let's get a little bit uh, tougher. I got 2 fifths w minus 6 equals 8. Two-step equation here is not much to do. I don't have any distributive properties to worry about. All the variables are on one side. I cannot simplify by combining like terms on both sides. So here I just add 6 to both sides to get rid of that negative 6, and I got 2 fifths w equals 14. I get rid of this 2 fifths by multiplying by the reciprocal of 5 halves to both sides, and w equals 35. Number 6, I got 3 fourths y plus 8 minus 7 fourths y equals 12. Well, I've got a distributive property, so I'm going to first distribute. So I've got 3 fourths y plus 
24 divided by 4 is 6 minus 7 fourths y equals 12. I have all the variables on one side, but I can combine like terms. So 3 fourths y minus 7 fourths y is negative 4 fourths y plus 6 equals 12. Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1y plus 6 equals 12. I'm going to undo addition with subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 6 to both sides, giving me negative y equals 6. Then I'm going to undo multiplication by dividing negative 1 to both sides, and y equals negative 6. Okay. Number seven, I've got five plus one equals negative 14. Nothing much here to worry about. It's just a simple two-step equation. Subtract one to both sides to cancel addition. Five y equals negative 15. Cancel out multiplication with division. Divide by five. And y equals negative three. Okay, 6 times 2x minus 3 plus 5 equals negative 4 times 5 plus 3x plus 8. Okay, I got distribution, right? I got a, I got a distributive property. So I'm going to distribute every, this 6 to everything inside of here. So I got 12x minus 18 plus 5 equals distribute negative 20 minus 12x plus 8. Combine like terms on both sides. I've got 12x and negative 18 plus 5 is negative 13 equals, combine like terms on both sides. I've got negative 12x and negative 20 plus 8 is negative 12. Now I want to bring the variables together to one side. So I'm going to add 12x to both sides, giving me 24x minus 13 equals negative 12. Now, I have a two-step equation. So I undo subtraction with addition by adding 13 to both sides. And that gives me 24x equals 1. Now I undo or cancel out multiplication with division, divide by 24, and x equals 1 over 24. Okay? And last but not least, 9 and 10. Okay, I've got a lot of distributive properties here, so I'm going to distribute first thing. That's my first step. Negative 3x minus 12 plus 8x equals negative 8 minus 24x plus 12. I'm going to combine like terms on both sides. So negative 3x plus 8x is 5x minus 12 equals negative 8 plus 12 is 4, so I've got negative 24x plus 4. Now I want to bring all the variables to one side. So I'm going to add 24x to both sides. That gives me 29x minus 12 equals 4. Now I've got a two-step equation. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides. I've got 29x equals 16. I'm going to cancel out multiplication with division. So I'm going to divide 29 to both sides. And yes, sometimes your answers are very ugly fractions. And that's okay. If you were to plug that in, I promise you it will work. And then last but not least, number 10, I've got 12 plus 2x equals. Remember this negative is a negative 1, which I must distribute. So I've got equals negative x plus 6. I'm going to bring all the variables to one side because both sides are already simplified as far as I can't add any like terms on either the left or right side. But I can bring over this x because we want to bring all the x's over together to one side. And I've got now 12 plus 3x equals 6. I'm going to un Now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to undo addition with subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 12 to both sides. 3x equals negative 6. I'm going to undo multiplication with division by dividing 3 to both sides. And x equals negative 2. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot. And have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.